Well, here we are at the um, Yamaha Genos 1. Why am I at the Genos 1 when I've got Genos 2 sat next to me? Well, really, I wanted to sort of have a serious discussion with you about Genos 1. Because although it's been replaced with the Genos 2, it's still, even now, uh, one hell of a very powerful piece of equipment. Um, the whole sort of, let me just, uh, I can actually adjust my microphone. My microphone's buzzing. There we go. That's gone. Um, one of the things that the Genos One offers is this fabulous 76 key keyboard. Um, and, I, and I'm not here to sell this. This this is not the case. I'm just sort of showing you if maybe you've got an SX900 or maybe you've got a Korg PA700 or maybe a Ketron SD or um, what are the Mac? Uh, trying to think of the previous model of the Ketron. Oh, the Audio. Audio. Um, what would this keyboard, if you had the look at, offer you? Well, it's really simple. A hell of a lot, as I keep saying. Because apart from anything else, there are so many styles for this machine. It is absolutely a style powerhouse um you can get them from pretty much anywhere there, there's so many styles out there um and it's what makes this keyboard this wonderful flexible instrument that has lots of interest it's not something that you just simply pick up and go okay right i've played all the styles on board i'm bored um <laughs> It's not. Um, there are so many styles available for Yamaha products. It really is one of the best supported um, instruments. In fact, it's one of probably one of the best supported companies out there. Um, people just like to make content. Uh, and I can understand why, because it's very, very easy um, to, to do. It's, it's within the grasp of the user. So if I wanted to make my own style, I could do so on the machine. And it gives you all of the functionality of what the pros use to create the styles apart from one little thing which is the major minor intros but hey i can live without that but everything else is as easy as it can be the voices are still very 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 good i mean i mean the cfx concert grand for example What more do you need to say? Ambient Grand? It's stunning. And the thing that really makes this, for me, is the speed at which you can actually get to things. If I want to increase the reverb on the piano, one button, two buttons, and I'm straight to the dial that controls the reverb. And it's so easy to do it. Octave control immediately left. I say more. Um, the, the orchestral voices in here are, are very good. Um, the acoustic guitars are just... <laughs> he says yeah, playing the piano. sort of concert guitar you've got Spanish guitars <laughs> or you can go over into other pages and you've got ukulele strums So there you go, 
12 string strum. And the thing is, at the current moment in time, because everybody seems to be jumping from Genos 2 to a Genos 1, then there's lots of these around, and there's lots of these around at really good prices. Some are horrific, and I don't know how the hell they're selling them. Um, but I've seen these now from 1800 upwards. Depends on where you look, depends on which, maybe a, you have a, or will find a dealer that really has more of these than you can shake a stick at, and just wants to get rid of them. So my advice is, if you you are seriously looking for what I would class as a pro arranger keyboard, and this certainly is, um, is to go and have a word with the dealer because you can pick up some really great bar bargains. Um, just going back into the electric guitar, this is my by far my all-time favourite voice ever Yamaha has ever made. This beautiful shadowed, not the shadow, because there's two. There's one on page one at the top, which is shadow lead. It's, it, no, I, I, I'm not a fan of that. But the certainly on page three, shadow guitar. It works for so many really great sort of country ballads, pop ballads. It just, it's got its own unique sound to it. And that, for me, is one of the best sounds in this, this particular product. The electric pianos are very, very nice. And again, the power of the effects unit in here means that you can really add some great effects. I can go in, if I, for example, if I wanted to, I could go in into the effects section and go to, uh, where are we, modulation, and I could pick a nice chorus. Make sure that we uh, turn that up a little bit. Uh, da, 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 da. Bum, bum, bum. Chorus 2 Symphonic. Just bear with me because I've selected the wrong department. Right, okay, so that's where I need to go. The modulation. So I've got this nice sort of rotary effect, tremolo. Um, if I go into the modulation page 1, I've got this nice chorus. Two, much more sort of deeper uh, symphonic. I've got this really great VCM flanger. Flanger one, <laughs> and that's really nice and wide. So the effects in here are hellishly powerful. There's so many of them. It goes through from reverb to delay to distortion for your guitars. Uh, you've got EQ and compressor modulation. And then you've got a whole legacy category, which has the previous effects in there as well from the old Tyros 5. So it, it you really can't ask for more. Um, unless you go to a Genos 2, of course, and then, then that's a very different beast. Um, and again, you've already seen my videos on the Genos 2, so if you want to go and have a look through those, then that, that really is the Rolls Royce of a range of keyboards. But this is still your Jaguar in terms of next level down, because it has got 
everything. Basically, this is where the Genos 2 evolved from. So it can't be a bad step, can it? You know, if you look at this, there are little niggles that um, obviously they've improved on the Genos um, 2. First one being the screen, the fact it's a little bit flatter. So it does have a few reflections, but I mean, I've got studio light above here and you, you can't see anything on the screen. It's not too bad. I, I always wonder when people say, oh, I play outside. Well, what, what, what do your neighbours do? Um, do <laughs> Ring in the council to make a noise complaint. Um, I've never taken this outside once, ever. Um, so, you know, maybe it depends on where in the world you are. Maybe if you're in Florida and you're an entertainer, then fair enough. But for 99% of home use, this, this isn't an issue at all. Um... What else can I tell you about the Genos? Because I say this, as I, as I said to start with, this is the effectively the, the the this was the top of the range until a few months ago, you know. And just to sort of say, well, because a new one's come out, this is cast aside. It shouldn't be. It really should not be, because it is a great keyboard. And if you maybe you've got grandkids who want to learn, and you don't want to give them a nasty keyboard to to learn on naming no names, <clears throat> Medelli, um, maybe you should have a look at a Yamaha because the Genos 1 is is affordable. It's not massively expensive now because, of course, there are lots of them about. Um, it just takes you a little bit of time to ring around a few dealers, have a little bit of a look on eBay, Gumtree, all those local places where they sell like Facebook and, and usual. Always keep your wits about you, though, because, I, I, you know, you, you know... Certainly, there's horror stories of when people come to sell secondhand. So go and see it before you actually part with any cash. Um, <clears throat> right, so I, I'm only sort of dipping my toe in the water here because, of course, we know that the registration system in the Yamaha keyboard is the, the gold standard. It really is because it stores everything. When I want, say, for example, I decide to put horns, a piano... Maybe I want to go and select a multi-pad and sort of bring in a strumming guitar. Maybe at some point. Right, there's the multi-pad. Then maybe I want to... I mean, even the microphone settings will save. Then all you do to save that is you press memory on whichever one of these presets you want to save it into. One. Now, no matter what you do, if I go and press eight... Yep, it's away. Now I've changed everything. Okay, now some keyboards will not store everything in their registration memory. And that is a big problem. Because maybe you're creating 10 registrations for a particular piece. So you're starting the intro on registration 1. Then you go into the, the first verse on 2. Chorus. Whatever you want to do, you can build your way through 10. If 10 isn't enough, you can even go to the stage of pressing the next bank and choosing the next bank and automatically moving on to another 10. So the power of that is incredible. And that's, you don't have to go in and save um, like menus and, and systems whereby you're building a song because you're making it from a, this is so easy to use. Absolutely kids play. Whoever came up with this deserves to have been given an award for the best innovation because every other manufacturer seems to follow this. Um, and, and, and rightly so. I mean, as I said to you mentioned before, the Medelli. Um, yeah, it should be called the photocopy because it literally is another Yamaha product in the box with just with awful sounds in it. However, they've copied the same system. It works exactly the same. Literally identical. Um, so, you know, you don't mess with what's not broken. So Yamaha, yeah, credit to you on that one. So in terms of if you want to have something that's easy to use, that is, you've got no problems with that. Um, then if we are moving over to, as I say, the things like multi-pads, these are little additional phrases that you can bring in with your rhythm. So say, for example, we've got this sort of ethereal movie. This is a nice, simple free play style. If I press my multi-pad one, it's set to bring in a, a nice cymbal roll. However, if I want to bring in a guitar strum, 
to give it a little bit more of a sort of uh, folksy feeling, I can press number one. It will follow me all the way around my song. That is just gold. Um, and, and it's one of the most used things um, because it means that you can actually edit and tailor the style and the way you're playing just by adding additional phrases that you can even record your own. You can add audio files. It can, it's just such a powerhouse, honestly, for, for the money now. You, if you've got an SX900 or if you have got, as I said to you, any other product, this is something you should have a look at because it is so incredibly powerful. Then you've got playlist. Now playlist, what is playlist? Well, playlist takes all of your registrations and arranges them so that you can simply press playlist and it will display on the screen a whole list of all your songs and you can add songs to it. You can move them around. It's if I just quickly show you the screen that you can, these are just a few examples that are in there. Um, very, very, very easy way to navigate your songs. You can sort of move around, you can go up and down. You can obviously shift things as well, so you can edit them, you can add tags. It's just wonderful, wonderful. But this is like the icing on the cake because the registration system already works brilliantly. So say, for example, I want to play a song, I just press the two buttons here. It goes to all my registrations. I've got them in folders. So if I wanted to sort of say play a slow generic jazz piece, it will call up my registration and within. You can do what you want. But that is how easy it is. You just pick, press the registration. simple simple and i'm all for as you well know i'm all for an easy life i like things to be simply created so that when you sit you don't have to start thinking how does this work because your brain will go naturally for the most logical route and 99.9% .9 of the time so of the guys at yamaha so when you go and think oh does it mean if i press mixer my oh yeah my volumes are there my reverb is there. My EQ is there. It all makes sense. Um, so in terms of a product, it it still really is still. If I was to go and buy my top 10 today, okay, it would start off Genos 2, Genos 1, SX900, and then the other brands would follow. The Yamaha take the top three slots. And that's because it's easy to play. I think there's been a misconceived sort of idea that anybody who's got a Tyros 5 and moves to one of these, this is going to explode and probably strangle the cat. Because they are, a lot of people I've spoken to are terrified of moving to a Genos. I don't understand why. Because it is logical, it's simple, you can't really go wrong. I mean, the fact it's touchscreen means you can sort of touch the things that you see that you think you want to change. If I want to change my style, big orange bar, it's got a style. If I touch it, oh, look, oh, here are my other styles. Go to a choice of style, highlight it. Bingo, it changes. It makes sense. And uh, this is the whole way this thing is designed. This additional display shows you all the volumes of your right one, your right two, your right three, your left hand, your multi-pad, all the bits. But you can even press the slider assign and it will change function. So you can then change the volume of your backing parts. Press it again. It will change the volume of your MIDI file. And you're back to the beginning again. 
It really is so simple. And it's got a vocoder in it. It's got a vocal harmonizer. The list goes on and on and on and on. And it isn't anything that you really wouldn't use. There's so much in here. Everything, every sort of area of this keyboard over the last, I mean, I've had mine for six years. Every element, and I'm still using it now, every element of this keyboard you will enjoy, have fun with. There's nothing in here that's a gimmick in terms of, oh, they put that in there to sell the keyboard. No, they didn't. Everything in here has a function and a place. And that's what makes Yamaha products excellent. So, like I say, I didn't start off this. This is not a sales pitch in any stretch of imagination, but I'm getting quite a few people commenting saying, I'm thinking of buying this. I'm thinking of buying this. What would you recommend? Well, if your budget is between sort of two and two and a half thousand, then this really is your first and only choice. Um, in terms of, <laughs> you're all going to be shouting at the screen now going, oh no, what about the other manufacturers? I'm talking about a product that will grow with you and still keep growing with you because even now this is discontinued, you can still get styles. You can still get brand new styles. You can even add new voices. It just goes on and on and on and on. And Genos has been, in my book, one of the best instruments ever created. Um, certainly from Genos 1. Genos 2 takes it to that next level. Um, and all I'm going to say about Genos 2 is listen to the drums and the voices. They are so, so different. Um, the drums in particular just take it from 10% to 90%. It's just that good. Um, but however, like I say, if you're looking for a product that's between the price mark of 2000 well, 1800 as I say, have a look online. You will find somebody who just decided they want to get rid of it because they've already bought Genos 2. And they're watching the price dropping. Um, so, yeah, don't pay anything like the sort of 2.8 to 2.7 sort of market. It's it's too high. This should be priced around the 2 maximum of 2.5. And, um, yeah, I, I hope this has been interesting for you. Um, if you've got any questions with regards to the product, I'm more than happy to sort of give you some sort of tips and advice or... The fact, again, I've got a microphone plugged directly into the instrument at the back. It's got phantom power. You've got so many vocal effects. You've got harmonies that you can bring in. As I said to you, the list goes on and on and on. And uh, I've been going on and on and on now for 22 minutes. So I'm going to call it a day. But if you have got any questions or maybe say you are thinking uh, seriously, what do I buy now? I'm, I'm coming to the end of my existing keyboard. I'm a bit bored. Or maybe you've got the grandkids who really want to learn and learn properly. This is an instrument you could sit them at and they would really enjoy because it's got everything with every sort of genre in mind. You can sort of cover pop, disco, dance. It it does it all. It really is. It's the, it's the one solution that you can just pick up, play, take out you can you could do an entire performance on this without even having to set registrations it's so easy to play right i'm going to head off but thank you ever so much for watching and um if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe you have to subscribe it's 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 key um if you subscribe you get notifications when more videos go online i've got a couple of other interesting products coming along uh, one is going to be very, very interesting for everybody, not just maybe for somebody who's got a Genos. It's going to be interesting for everyone who plays a range of keyboards. Okay, until next time, I shall say goodbye. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. Thanks for listening. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.